Hello guys. How are you, Alejandro? <laughs> Maybe you can um, share the link to them because I don't know if they'll be able to see this or not. Um, not sure. Maybe you can invite them. Samoka from France. You're from France, right? How are you? And how is the situation now in France? I hope you're doing okay. Oh, this is really hard. I'm not very tech savvy. I'm not tech savvy. So I don't know uh, what is wrong. What is the problem right now? But I'll try my best to give you a good story today. <laughs> okay. Let's just wait for, for the others. Uh, people can see my live video. How can I share my video? Let's see. I don't have any idea. Really? Everything is okay in France? Oh, okay, she's here. Hello. How many cases of COVID-19 are there in, in, in your country right now? Are you ready for the storytelling? But we still need like five people because there are only five people who are watching right now. I think we can start if there would be like 10 people who will watch and join the storytelling for today. The title of the story is A Puma at Large. Okay. Oh, I can see. Okay, there are six people now. Um, and Elvira is here. Hello. <laughs> okay. Okay, there are seven people now <laughs> three more people and then we will start okay hi there <laughs> nine people okay just one more and then we will start so the title is a puma at large okay now there are ten I think we can start now Okay, let me just take a screenshot. Okay, there are 10 people. Let's start this story. Okay, have you ever heard of this story before? Pumas are large cat-like animals which are found in America. When reports came into London Zoo, that a wild puma had been spotted 45 miles south of London, they were not taken seriously. However, as the evidence began to accumulate, experts from experts from zoo or from the zoo felt obliged to investigate. Hi, Jasmine uh, Rossell. Ah, <laughs> Len. Okay, hi, Len. Okay, let me continue. Okay, so 
as evidence began to accumulate, experts from the zoo felt obliged to investigate. For the descriptions given by the people who claimed to have seen the puma were extraordinarily similar. The hunt for the puma began in a small village where a woman picking blackberries saw a large cat like only her. It immediately ran away when she saw when she saw it. An expert confirmed that a puma will not attack a human being unless it is cornered. Okay, let me continue the story a little bit later. Wait a moment. Let's rotate this <laughs> phone. How are you guys? Can you understand? Uh, can you understand the story so far? Hi, Mia. Hi, Rochelle. Okay. Can you understand the story so far? Can you hear it properly? Let me start from the beginning, okay? So, a puma at large. Okay. Pumas are large cat-like animals which are found in America. When reports came into London Zoo that a wild spotted 45 miles south of London, they were not taken seriously. However, as the evidence began to accumulate, experts from the zoo feel of a felt rather felt obliged to investigate for the descriptions given by people who claim to have seen the puma were extraordinarily similar the hunt for the puma began in a small village where a woman Picking strawberries saw a large cat only five yards away from her. Oh, that's really close. It immediately ran away when she saw it. And ex experts confirm that a puma will not attack a human being unless it is cornered. The search proved difficult, for the puma was often observed at one place in the morning and at another, another place 25 miles away in the evening. Okay, that's difficult. Yeah. Wherever it went, it left behind a trail of dead deer and small animals like rabbits. Paw prints were seen in a number of places and puma fur was found clinging to bushes. Several people complained of cat-like noises at night. Cat-like noises at night is like meow like that. <laughs> Cat like a and a businessman on a fishing trip saw the puma up a tree. The experts were now fully convinced that the animal was a puma. But where had it come from? As no pumas had been reported missing from any zoo in the country. This one must have been in the possession of a private collector and somehow managed to escape. 
The hunt went on for several weeks, but the puma was not caught. It is disturbing to think that a dangerous animal is still at large in the quiet countryside. That's the end for oh, that's the end of the first story. Okay. Are you still watching? Did you get the story? Were you able to catch the story? I am going to give my first question now. Okay? Okay, that's great, Lilibeth. You're listening to the uh, story. Okay, the first question is... Okay, let's type it down here. Question one. Okay. Okay. Where must the puma have come from? Okay, that's the question. Where have the puma... Okay. Must have come from okay that is the first question <laughs> if you listen to the story you would know the answer to this question this first question is for this is for 100 pesos <laughs> okay this is worth 100 peso worth of load it's for load okay so any guess any answer what's the answer The London Zoo? Mm, no, sorry. In the story, it says that... In the story, it says that... Um, no animals were missing from any zoo. So it's not. Not from the London Zoo. It says, no puma had been reported missing from any zoo in the country. So not from the London Zoo. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> not England. The question is, where have the puma come from? Where have the puma must have come from? That's the question. That is question one for the first story. No, not America. Nobody knows the answer. You can do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want someone to win. I want someone to win. So I will read the story for the second time. Okay? So you have to listen very carefully. Are you ready? Shall we start? <laughs> okay, I'm going to start again to the next story. Okay, can you say yes if you're ready? Say yes. Comment down yes to, so that I would know. Uh, proceed to the next. No, I'm going to read the story again. I want someone to win this. Not North America, no. 
Puma is a cat. Puma is a relative of a cat. They come from the cat family. The cat family is very extensive, right? The lions, the tigers, they all come from the cat family. But we are talking about a place. Where must, where have the puma must have come from? Okay, let's start again. Where must the puma have come from? Again, please listen carefully, okay? <laughs> Turn up the volume of your speaker so you will hear every word that I will say. Okay, let's start. Pumas are large cat-like animals which are found in America. When reports came in London Zoo that a wild puma, a wild puma, had been spotted 45 miles south of London, they were not taken seriously. However, as the evidence began to accumulate, experts from the zoo felt obliged to investigate. For the descriptions given by people who claimed to have seen the puma were extraordinarily similar. The hunt for the puma began in a small village where a woman picking blackberries saw a large cat only five yards away from her. It immediately ran away. And experts confirm that a puma will not attack a human being unless it is. The search proved difficult. The puma was often observed at one place in the morning and at another place 20 miles away in the evening. Wherever it went, it left behind it a trail of dead deer and small animals like rabbits. Paw prints were seen in a number of places and puma fur was found clinging to bushes. Several people complained of cat-like noises at night, and a businessman on a fishing trip saw the puma up a tree. The experts were now fully convinced that the animal was a puma. But where had it come from? As no pumas had been reported missing from any zoo in the country. This one must have been in the possession of a private collector and somehow managed to escape. The hunt went on for several weeks, but the puma was not caught. It is disturbing to think that a dangerous wild animal is still at large in the quiet countryside okay let me see if uh, somebody got the correct answer okay okay it's out of london 45 miles out of london small village no so pumas are native in america north america right so it's impossible to see pumas in London because they are not indigenous in that place. So puma should not be in London because London is in UK. And puma's natural habitat is America. But why is there a puma in London? Where must have it come from? Or where have the puma come from oh okay I saw the answer oh okay 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 I'll take a screenshot okay of who got the answer 
Okay, Alejandro got the answer first on my feed. Alejandro said private collector. Rochelle said from a private collector. And Goldie said from a private collector also. But the first one to give the answer is Alejandro. So Alejandro will get the uh, 100 worth of load. Okay. Maybe I'll ask another question for the same story. This is for 50... Uh, 50 pesos worth of load, okay? <laughs> wow, you're pretty good. You got it. I'm so happy. So another question is... Okay. So in that story, there was a businessman. The businessman also spotted the puma. Okay, listen very carefully. So where did the businessman see the puma? Where? I said place. <laughs> That's a place, a private place, isn't it? <laughs> That's not a trick question. Did you hear my second question? This second question is for 50 pesos worth of load. <laughs> question number two. Where did the businessman... Okay, let's type it down. Where did the businessman... See the... Puma. Where did the businessman see the puma? The businessman claimed to have seen the puma, right? So where did he see the puma? Small village? Okay. Okay. Oh, there it is. And now Ra or Arlene. Arlene got the answer first. She said the tree. Up the tree. Yes, tree. Up the tree. Tree. Whatever tree. Not the village. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations! A shout out to Arlene or Enelra. The name, uh, the FB name is one of the uh, E N E L R A. I think this is the opposite of like Arlene, right? You got it. Okay, PM me later and I'll send it to you. Very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, there's one more. Let's do one more story. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah, you're welcome. Congratulations. Alejandro and Anelra, PM me later. Let's talk later. So I I'll uh send it to you. I would be able to send it to you. Okay? <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's start. This is okay. Are you all are you all ready? Let's start the second story. Say yes if you're ready. <laughs> I mean, don't say it. Type it down if you're ready. Like move this like this. No, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay, just this. It's okay. Okay, let's start the second story. 
Okay, the double life of Alfred Bloggs. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so this is for 200 pesos, okay? So I will read the story only two times, so you have to listen very carefully. And the first person to type the answer will win 200 pesos. <laughs> okay, let's start. The Double Life of Alfred Bloggs. Okay. Okay, ready. <laughs> These days, people who do manual work often receive far more money than people who work in offices. People who work in offices are frequently referred to as white-collar workers for the simple reason that they usually, white, they usually wear white collar and tie to go to work. Such is human nature that a great many people are often willing to sacrifice higher pay for the privilege of becoming white collar workers color workers <laughs> can give rise to curious situations as it did in of alfred bloggs who worked as a dustman dustman Um, for the Elsmere Corporation. So, he worked as a dustman for the Elsmere Corporation. When he got married, Alf was too embarrassed to say anything to his wife about his job. He simply told her that he worked for the corporation. Every morning, he left home dressed in a smart black suit. He then changed into overalls and spent the next eight hours as a dustman. Before returning home at night, he took a shower and changed back into his suit. Alf did it for over two years and his fellow dustmen kept his secret. Alf's wife has never discovered that she married a dustman, and she never will. For Alf has just found another job. He will soon be working in an office. He will be earning only half as much as he used to, but he feels that his rise in status is well worth the loss of money. From now on, he will wear a suit all day, and others will call him Mr. Bloggs, not Alf. Okay, I hope you're still there. So, did you understand the story? Is that difficult? Let me give you the question now. This is the third question, question number three. Okay, the question is, why did Alf want a white collar job? Okay. Why did Alf want a white collar job? That is the question.
Did you hear? Answer. I will give two consideration. The correct answer will get 200 pesos. And one answer that is a little okay. 50 pesos. <laughs> no, 100. Okay, because he... He is ashamed of being a dustman, Lilibeth is sad. Should I accept this answer? <laughs> yes, I will accept this answer. So one reason is that he is ashamed of being a dustman. He is ashamed of his blue collar job, right? He is. So this question is accepted. And there's another reason why he wants to have a um, white collar job. Mm -hmm. Alejandro said to keep his secrets from his, uh, from, oh, it should be his wife, not her wife his wife but there's another okay I'll give 100 again to Alejandro <laughs> but there's just one answer that I'm looking for what is it so Lilibeth and Alejandro yeah I will accept your answers there's one answer that I want to hear. What does a white collar job give you? Or can make you feel? Why do people why do people want a white collar job? Let's change the question. <laughs> Why do people want a white collar job? But the answer should be from the The answer should be from the story, okay? The one that I mentioned in the story. To be called Mr. Blogs. <laughs> His name is spelled as B L O G G S blogs, not A O blogs. A hard work, hard labor because he pretended that he is another job. He wants to impress his wife. Okay. Hmm. I am not American. I'm Filipina. I'm from the Philippines. Okay. Why do people want a white collar job? I changed the question already. But the answer can be found in the story that I just read. To be a higher society. What do you mean to be a higher society? <laughs> what does that supposed to mean? Can you explain it to me? There is one word that I'm wanting to hear that I'm still waiting to hear that none of you has said. Do you want a white collar job? If you do, why do you, why do people want it? Maybe Lilibeth can explain her answer. To be higher society, I think you are very close to the answer, <laughs> but I just couldn't give it to you. <laughs> but you're this close.
bigger income? No. Alfred Blog is earning more money as a dustman than if he would have a desk job or an office job. By the end of the story, it says, let me repeat this part. He will soon be working in an office. He will be earning only half as much as he used to. So it means his salary is now half the salary that he had when he was a dustman. It means he had higher salary when he was still a dustman than when he became an office worker. It's not good income, no. A lot of office jobs don't pay as well as labor or blue collar jobs. Decent job? Like, what do you mean by decent? I'm looking for a word. I'm looking for a word, one word. <laughs> not high salary, no, no. It has nothing to do with the salary, no. A decent job, like, I, I want you to tell me the word that I said in the story. If I read the story, you will know. <laughs> like, how professional. Not the money. It's called white collar job. Why is it called a white collar job? Come on, you can do it. Oh, it's already 5 o'clock. Oh, I should stop this live video. I will stop this live video in a few. I hope you get the answer now. <laughs> do you want a hint? I'll give you a hint. It starts with letter C. not good looking it's not about his wife anymore because i already changed my question why do people want a white collar job and alfred blogs also want to have a white collar job to look professional like how how would you look professional what do you look like and what do you wear to look professional I think that you will be surprised if you learn the answer later after I read it. You will be like, oh, that's the answer. Oh my God, it's so simple. <laughs> I'm going to read the, it, it again to you again later. People who work in offices are frequently referred to as white collar workers. For the simple reason that blah 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 such is human nature that a great many people are are often willing to sacrifice higher pay for the privilege mm. Not a stable job because he has a stable job. He's a dustman. His salary is higher than other office worker. When he got his job, finally, when he became, his salary is only half the salary. Only half the salary that he had when he was still a dustman. It means that his salary as a dustman is higher than his salary as a, an office worker. This is true in life. A lot of laborers earn more than people who work in an office. <laughs> okay, no one is telling me the answer, like the, the exact answer. Let me read the first paragraph again. Okay, I'm going to end this live in three minutes. So let me just read it quickly. Okay. So, 
No, the Goldie, no, not higher pay. Okay. So it says, these days, people who do manual often receive work in office. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, okay, we're back, we're back. Okay. So, people who work in offices are frequently referred to as white collar workers. For the simple reason that they usually wear a white collar and a tie to go to work. Such is human nature that a great many people are often willing to sacrifice higher pay. Many people sacrifice higher pay for the privilege of becoming white collar worker. This can give rise to curious situation as it did in the case of Alfred Bloggs. Okay, so the answer is to get the privilege to be called a white collar worker because Alfred wants to be called white collar worker. To see him as a white collar worker. He wants people to know that he is a white collar worker. That's the only reason. That's the simple reason. He just wants to wear a suit. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's not the security. No, no, not to risk his life. So, uh, let me see. Okay, anyway, I'm going to split that between Lilibeth and Alejandro, okay, because they gave me the closest answer to the, to the question that I want to hear a while ago, okay? Yeah. Thank you for sending in your answers. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. So we had two stories today. I hope you learned some new expressions such as white collar job. What is a white collar job and a blue collar job. So thank you so much everybody and thank you for the hearts and lies. <laughs> okay. And congratulations to all the winners today. Um I, I'll announce another live. Of course I'm going again next time but just a small one because teacher is not rich thank you and see you take care everybody goodbye